Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I'll show you how to fix your um, clock widget in cases where it's showing the wrong time. Now, of course, if you have added the clock widget, whether it's the small one, the medium, or the large, you might notice that it has the wrong time by default. Now, sometimes it's off by an hour, maybe two hours, and of course, you have no idea why it's wrong. This tutorial is going to show you how to fix that. Now, as you can see here, the current time in my time zone, it's... Um, 10 minutes to 12 or 11.50, but here on the clock, it's now showing it's roughly 10 minutes to 10, which makes no sense, all right? So if you're having a similar issue where your clock is wrong, and of course you wanna correct it as you use the preview, as you can look on the clock and tell the exact time, I'm gonna show you to correct this right now. This is for iOS 14, for iPhone or any other similar iOS 14 device with the clock widget. Now if the clock is wrong, as it should be in most cases, as this is a big bug, go ahead and long press the up. Once you do, you should see this menu appear right here. Go ahead and edit widget. Now here it says city clock. It says as a clock for a city um, to check the time at um, that location. Now city here, it says Cupertino, which is the default, which is I think um, Apple's main campus. So of course, that's why it's usually wrong because it sets to Cupertino time. Now, of course, we are all not in Cupertino, so go ahead and click, and it will show you a very large list of places across the world. Now, you want to find a, either a region that's close by to you or a location that's exactly where you are or close to where you are. Now, of course, once you do that, you should be good as the general time zone should be um, okay. So let's say you live in point A. You can find that. Try finding a bigger city that's more popular. All right. Here, yeah, so I'm just going to search. Um, remember, it's alphabetically, so you can search through. I advise that um, you could type it in. But in my experience, um, I recommend that you search through what's actually there to find something that's close. Remember, you might not find your exact year, so find the closest place that has a similar time zone like you or somewhere where it's almost um, matching. If you do that, you should be good. All right. All right, so I'm here, so I'm going to choose Kingston. Um, if you see it, guys, um, it does say Kingston, and it does say Kingston. So you have to be careful because sometimes you have multiple. That's why I suggest that you search. Now, this is Jamaica's time. I'm just going to set it to Jamaica's time zone. And, of course, you can set it to yours. Sorry, I made a mistake. Let me go back. So let's exit. It will refresh. All right. So there you go. I found my correct time zone. Notice I've selected Kingston. Um, there were two. One was showing four hours ahead. So I'm not sure where was that. It might be in a different location. So look out for multiple locations. And as you see, you now it's much. It says 11.54. It's showing 11.54 on the clock. So the clock is now corrected fully. Exit. So um, as I was saying, guys, before, when you're editing the widget, Make sure that you search through the given names. Look out for um, multiple names because you might have a place that has a similar name like yours. So I don't suggest you use the search. So use the scroll wheel and find your exact location or close. So for example, maybe you can't find your exact town, but maybe you can find um, like if you are in Florida or maybe you can just find generally the USA. So just do that and you should be good. So once you do that, guys, as I did, we just exit again. Notice my time is now um, correct. All right, so this record I'm going to show you to fix that annoying um, clock bug with your um, clock widget. And um, of course, this record I'm going to from Block Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.